sex update minus b minus update Should get and be able to see that that vem is now loaded, and again, so another Venix, and we are running. Fantastic. Okay, so that's the ESX hosts done. So we should now be able to add them to that uh, VMFX DVS through vCenter. Again, we'll go into our inventory networking and go and find our VMFX DVS. There we go, I've got one spare VNIC. And again, with UCS, that was just a nice right click add VNIC. Um, so all very nice and easy to add extra ones if you need them. Okay, so there are both our hosts added to that DVS. Okay, so I'm just going to confirm, have a look in our host box. So I can see my two hosts are now there. So the hosts are on, but no VMs are on that DVS as yet. Okay, yep, so no VMs. Okay, so let's go and find some VMs. I've got a couple we can have a look at. Yeah, so we'll put our 2008 AD. So currently running on the uh, internal V switch on host. Okay, so I'll just set up a continuous ping to that. Because the move should be pretty seamless. And we'll move that from the standard V switch onto our VMFX port group. And if you remember, that's the port group that we've associated a line rate quads policy to. So basically, the difference is now currently it's the local V switch would be locally switching. Now we're moving it to the VMFX uh, distributed virtual switch all the traffic will go up to our fabric interconnects to the virtual interface that corresponds to that VNIC and it will be switched in hardware on the fabric interconnect. Okay, so let's move that fella. So go into our edit settings. Okay, and currently on the so worth mentioning at this stage, we have to be using the VMX Net3 driver. The E1000 uh, won't work. And let's move that onto our VMFX. So we possibly might lose a ping or two there. There you go, just the one ping. I can live with that. Okay, and there's our DVS, and we can see that we have one VM on it now. 
we'll be able to see the, the virtual port it's connected to. Yep, 1500. Now that port will remain consistent wherever this VM uh, um, is positioned. If I was to V motion this now, for example, that port would remain consistent. So let's now go and have a look in UCS Manager. So if I go into my VM tab now, if all has worked, I should see that virtual machine. There we go, we can see the host, and there we go, we can see the Windows 2008 Active Directory machine, and we can see the VNIC it's on, VNIC 1500. And there you go, all our interface statistics of that virtual machine. Again, something we never had the ability to do running on a standard vSwitch. Okay, so we're starting to clock up some statistics nicely. Right. Okay, so we can see the host we're running on there, um, 123. So what I'll do now is I'll vMotion that off onto host 122. Again, just to prove that vMotion hasn't broken. So again, I'll do, maybe expect a, a, a single ping loss, perhaps. Okay, so that's thinking about it. Okay, and it's done. Again, just the one ping loss. So we're now on host 122. Okay, we'll go back into our well, into our other host now, into our DVS, and we'll have a look at that port. And it should be exactly the same as it was on the other host. So port 1500 we're looking for. And there we go. So again, none of those statistics would have been lost in UCS Manager because the port has not changed. So all of those, uh, so we're now running on the other host, so host 2. There's our virtual machine. Our VNIC is still VNIC 1500, that hasn't changed, that's consistent. And we have a look at our VNIC 1500, all our statistics have been maintained. So again, I mean, this you can imagine how much of an aid this will be to troubleshooting uh, you know, and, and basically just maintaining your virtual machines. And there we go, you can see our Phoenix 1500. And you can see there that the ESX administrator has next to no rights to change anything on that VMFX DVS. So again, all the rights have to be within UCS Manager. So I can right click, create an additional port profile, change VLANs, um, you know, add VLANs on the fly. So yeah, all the, all the control is now with UCS Manager. Back in the hands of the, the LAN admin, you might say. Okay, so that about covers it. So I can close down my putty sessions. So we are now running VMFX emulated mode. So as you can see, there's a few little things to set up, but you know, if you stick to this procedure, exactly the steps as we've shown here, um, you should have no problems at all. Okay, well, thanks for uh, staying with me on this one. Uh, and I say I'll do a, a little supplementary video uh, just showing the the few additional steps you'll need to run in VM Direct Path mode. Okay, thanks very much.